I would say that the little computer interpretation of the EKG tends to overcall possible changes due to blocked plumbing or heart attacks, but it undercalls or is wrong a lot when it talks about which specific rhythm you're dealing with. So chest pain, possibly from blocked heart artery or heart attacks, could show changes on your EKG. If you are feeling palpitations, where you feel like your heart rate's racing or it's very irregular, that could be one of the 15 different abnormal rhythms that makes your heart go fast. It could be premature beats that make your heart irregular. These are all heart rhythm abnormalities and you would want to catch that on an EKG or extended heart rhythm monitor to make the diagnosis. Sometimes people are feeling short of breath or tired. A common cause of that is slow heart rate problems. If your normal rhythm source was getting old and malfunctioning and was starting to go very slow, it could make you feel very tired or very short of breath. Now there are plenty of other causes for that, but this is certainly one cause that can be treated. And so an EKG might be used to try to diagnose that. And of course, if you do really have a primary problem with slow heart rates, then a pacemaker, a simple device that goes underneath the skin with little electrical spaghetti-like wires going to your heart can treat that because those devices take over for slow heart rates. They don't take over for fast heart rates. That's why they are not direct treatments for atrial fibrillation or other fast arrhythmias, but they do treat slow heart rate problems.